wanted to use really sure. So my call to supporters of marriage and supporters of religious liberty in the spirit of Diane Nippers this evening is to stand up, speak out, fight back, resist. Do not be demoralized. Refuse to be intimidated. Speak moral truth to cultural, political, and economic power. Openly love what is good and defy and resist whatever opposes and threatens it. Be prepared, if it comes to it, to pay the cost of discipleship, no matter how high that cost. Stand together with anyone of any faith, Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox, Jewish, Mormon, Muslim, Hindu, Buddhist, Sikh, Jain, who will stand with you to uphold marriage and defend freedom. Be gentle as doves, to be sure, but cunning as serpents. Be relentless in your determination to defend what is right in the courts and in the streets, on the blogs and in the legislative chambers. Pray ceaselessly. Work to elect champions of life, marriage, and religious liberty. Fight to keep the Republican Party faithful to moral principles that have drawn so many former Democrats, such as myself, into it over the past three decades. Remember that our adversaries, having now won a complete lock on the Democratic Party, will be able to devote their entire attention and formidable resources to making inroads among the Republicans, weakening the Republican witness to these principles and values. We must defeat their efforts, making clear to the Republican establishment that our loyalty to the party is conditional, conditioned on the party's fidelity to its principles. Let us remind the Republicans that their party was founded as a party of moral conviction, pledged to fight the twin relics of barbarism, as the Republican platform, the original platform of 1856, described them, slavery and polygamy. Standing for what is right and against what is wrong is in the GOP's DNA, and we mustn't let those who speak for the party or control its apparatus ever forget that. Slavery was wicked because it denied the basic humanity and dignity of an entire class of human beings just as the abortion license does today. Polygamy was unacceptable because it undermined the principle of marriage as a truly conjugal relationship, a permanent and exclusive one flesh union of husband and wife. You see, the relics have not disappeared. They have simply taken on new forms. And we must stand against them today with Lincolnian determination and conviction, no matter the cost, no matter how long it takes. It will not be easy. And to worldly eyes, the horizon looks bleak. But mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. Thank you very much. Thank you.